So I think we've been in like numerous conversations mm -hmm. about this scenario. Um, so I don't live in Edinburgh anymore because my situation got so horrific. It was touch and go. My court case is now coming to an end. I'll be honest, I never want to come back to this city again. What I have done is I have literally gone round. <clears throat> I went to Fourth Valley today. Remember we talked about that when I got sectioned and all that, and I've demanded an answer. So. I now have all, so they basically section me on the point of Canadian, not IT manager. I have everything now. And there, they can't answer a question as to why they did what they did. What I have done is, I have gone around. Remember, I was having problems with GPs. Mm -hmm. And they were discharging me for absolutely no reason. Put in, I mean, even the, the fact that I was even at a homeless GP was a joke. But I went from Mackenzie Medical Center, who refused to send me for my concussion to the hospital. Then St. Leonard's discharged me for no reason. Mm -hmm. Then the homeless unit. Then I got sent by Edinburgh Council all over Scotland. It was a disaster. Um, I have literally, since I've come back to Edinburgh, I have, what I did was, I went to Citizens Advice and we wrote a legal letter to each one of these GPs demanding why did you, why did you discharge this gentleman without cause? Mm -hmm. And each and every single one has either not responded, won't give an answer, and there's not a whole lot more I can do. It's, it's quite busy because there's a few people going about. Just going. I've had a look. I know we've been in touch before. Mr. Well, people have just disengaged. That's the problem. The thing for, for us with NHS Rosa at the moment, we're kind of tired a bit because the SPSO, the Ombudsman, are looking at your complaint from NHS Lothian. Yeah, but the problem is, is I can't even get a straight answer, straight answer for them. Cause well, they, their investigation is still ongoing because I've just looked at your file just now. Mm -hmm. So we really can't communicate anything until they finish their investigation. I was under the assumption it was finished, but... Um, it, it's it's still open. They've not told us that it's finished. So we would need to, so we don't have a copy of what their recommendations are and what they've decided. Mm -hmm. So have you, did you get a letter from them? They, it was Graham, well the problem is, is it's so convoluted, I'm not even, like, so Graham Petrie basically said, no, this person's dealing with it, this person's dealing with it, it's not being dealt with, I don't know what's going on, I'm like, well, well, if you don't know what's going on, how am I supposed to know what's going on? What happens is, when it goes out with NHS Lothian, and it, I think it was but the only the reason, it, sorry to interrupt, the no. only reason it got to that point was, I have been in here at least four, five, six mm -hmm. times, right? Going out my mind, going, I don't know why this is happening to me, what's going on? I mean, it put my, I've even gone to Boots Pharmacy, who refused to call an ambulance. I've gone around everyone asking, why did you do what you did when I was here? Because if you remember, the only way I actually got a GP, who, to be fair to him, has been good and literally saved my life, was I had to walk. To NHS Scotland headquarters near um, the and the near where the Edinburgh Business Park is, I literally beg one of the senior managers there, can you please get me a GP? She then contacted the Meadows. I turned up and virtually collapsed on his door, and he's like, "What the hell happened?" Kept me alive. These other ones, regardless if I've been hit by a bus or not, I mean, it was horrific. And I'm emailing you back and forth, going, "I need help urgently." I can understand that, and it's ongoing. So, what what is it that you need? Well, I didn't know that it was ongoing. So, my my point is, is I have now gone back and spoken to these. Ma One, I'm either being blocked when I start asking the questions. Either they're just completely disengaging and pretending I didn't even the, the home uh, Dr. Thomas at mm -hmm. the homeless unit for the the medical care. I've gone to Mackenzie Medical Center in St. Leonard's, and they're kind of pretending like the whole thing's not happening. And I said, well. So what's not happening? Well, what happened was, is that I followed the process, right? As once I got myself back together a little bit, I went to Citizen Advice. I got them to write a legal document sta stating exactly what happened, times, dates, everything. Mm -hmm. They had a stipulation, a legal requirement to reply sufficiently within 28 days, and none of them have done that. That was six months ago. Mm -hmm. So I'm at the point I went around and physically said, can you tell me, why you're not engaging with this, and a lot of it I'm being fobbed off. Well, I can assure you that it's still open with the Ombudsman, so whilst they're dealing with that, and they will, they will normally get back to us with a copy of the letter that, of the decisions that they've taken, and, and they will respond to you. Until we get that, we can't get involved. 
because it's going past Yeah, I know, stage. but the whole point was, and just this, I, I tried to get NHS Lothian involved at the beginning, before it went to the ombudsman. Remember, we had all the emails mm -hmm. going back and forth. It was, your name's Liz, right? Uh, yes. And, and the thing is, it was going back and forth, so I didn't want it to go to the point of the ombudsman, but I felt I literally had no choice. I went to here, I went to the doctor, I went to the hospital. I mean, you saw, I tried I, everything. I, absolutely, and I understand that. It's just that at the time I explained to you, some of it came under NHS Lothian, some of the things were not NHS Lothian, and we can't investigate that. No, but as an example, the hospitals here and the mm -hmm. GPs in Edinburgh come under NHS Lothian, no? Not all the GPs, no, only, only a few. As I say, Are the, the hospital. The hospital definitely, and I, I know because I checked a response went out to you from from the Royal Infirmary. A response went out to me, what do you mean? They, they, they wrote out in regards to your the, the complaint that you had about yeah. the infirmary. But the whole point is, and you have to remember what's happening, right, is I went from, a, and I don't want to spin the whole wheel a thousand times. I was a high level manager in Canada. Oh, I got involved in the situation. I came back here. Edinburgh City Council refused to help me with housing. Hence, if Mr. you, Fraser, if you I write, to, I, need I know, to stop you. but I what need I'm to saying, stop you, please, because I this didn't get that written response. I did not get that written response. That, that, that response to that is not something that we can answer. If so what can you guys do? Only in relation to the, the, the care from the hospital, and, and at that point it was your attendance at accident and emergency, right. and then being readmitted to accident, you know, having to go back to accident and emergency. Now that is under investigation by the Ombudsman at the moment, so we can't comment on that. If there's anything else that is current or new, that's something that maybe either the GP or we can look at. But if it's going on about what's that and the history of what's happened, okay. So, so two things. So, so do. two things then is it's not safe for me in Edinburgh. I was getting numerous threats. I don't live here anymore. So um, one, I'm not convinced to have your email address or what email address can I contact whilst I'm not even. So what, what is it to contact? For? Well, just as an example. The letter that I supposedly got from the hospital because I had to move around so much, I didn't get it. Whatever response is created by the ombudsman or you or, or the hospital or whatever, can I not get an attachment as email because my address is mo I don't have a, a permanent that, address that right now. That would come from us, that would come from the SPSO, you would need to contact them. But you, they said they were going to contact you, no? Would you not put implement some kind of, once they come to a conclusion, they're going to contact you, right? Is that not my you. understanding? <coughs> Along with you, so they right. get the same letter that you would get. Like, right. That so, send to you. but they're not gonna they're not gonna send it to you and CC me. I very much doubt that. No, they're going to send it to you, and they will send us a copy. Right. So, how do I find out once they've made that conclusion what you guys are gonna do? We won't do anything unless they make specific recommendations, and that will be in the letter. Do you? They will put that in the letter. What recommendations are made? You're saying you're not living in at the moment? So you're living in Lothian, you're registered with I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not willing to state that. My, 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 no, 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 my situation got so... My, that's the reason I don't have your email anymore, is because my emails got hacked and I had to change it. So I had to change my address, my phone, if, if my email, email everything. If you're an NHS Lothian patient, mm. if there are concerns after this, it would be the, the health board, whatever, you know, and if it was new issues, it would be the health, the health board in the area. Yeah, if there are new issues uh, in another area, obviously I'm not going to come to any Slovian. What I'm saying is, is that, well, there's not much more I can do. If you guys are saying there's nothing you can do, I sh for, in my opinion, it shouldn't have got to that point. Because at that point that I did come here and was trying to solve it, before having to go to citizen advice and the ombudsman, I think it potentially could have. I came to Edinburgh over a year and a half ago. And without me literally walking to an NHS Scotland headquarters, I wouldn't have even had a GP. This is a Western capital. So is this what you're looking at then? It's just an answer? Well, I'll be honest with you. I'm almost at the point, and not specifically a Jew, but the way NHS Lothian handled it the first three, four times was not good. That's what the SPSO will look at. So and they'll look they, at you as well? Yeah, absolutely. And if they feel that we have not managed the complaint properly, we will be told about that and we will be held accountable for that. So the one thing I would say, and then this is the last point, is my email got hacked, the one that we were going back and forth on. So I could not send him all the emails. Um, if I gave you, I don't know whether you'd be willing to do this or not, but... If I give you a new email address, could you email me the correspondence that we had? I'm not asking you to add anything to it, what, just the emails what, that went back and forth. What I could do is pass it on to the SBSO for you, and ask, because they will respond to you. Okay. Uh, but have they not asked you for that already? Or? 
Because I he asked me for it, and I couldn't get very limited because my email was hacked. That was the problem. We've given a copy of your complete correspondence to the SPSO, so they should have everything. They should have all, all your deep, anything that's in your file. Are you entitled to ask for a copy of that? Yeah, as I said, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a cop, I don't know how all this works, right? I'm just, it's, the fact that it's even got to this point is insane. Yeah. But um, I'm only here for a limited amount of time and, and I'm trying to get... Is it a new email address since you've been in contact with the SPSO? Is it a new email address that you have now? What, what, what would you do with it? I have to pass it on to the SPSO to, so that they would just, could respond to you. So are you talking about Game, Graham Petrie, the Ombudsman? Yes. I can walk in there myself. So that, that's, you need to, 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 to give it to them because they will send the response to you. They will send a copy of that to us. And if they, there's any recommendations, if we've failed in any way, they will say, this is what action you need to take. I could have died. That's All right. Um, but, um, it, I'm not sure when, if, if there's a time limit on when that will happen. The way this so, transpired is, is shocking. But, but the, um, as I say, I do apologise, but as it's with them... Um, but you know what? It's not an apology. I came in here to try and resolve it before the honours motion. Everyone here is engaged with my